Good morning everyone. If anyone is from Spain, good morning, good morning. I want to share with you guys this beautiful view that I had when I was staying in W Hotel in Barcelona. Such an awesome view, right? So, let's get ready with me. Does anyone wake up super early in the morning while they are on vacation? Anyone with me? Yeah? No? Let me know in the comment below. So, I do take my time brushing my teeth because this problem can get really expensive guys. Take care of your teeth. Then I'm gonna jump right into the shower. This is my most favorite part of the hotel. I love rain shower. I'm using the face wash that was provided from the hotel. It actually surprised me. It was very good, very gentle on my skin and did not break me out at all. Okay, let's get out here and I will show you guys what I brought with me in my luggage. Essentially what I have in my travel bag. I have the whole makeup thing going on in this Sephora bag. And obviously I brought some sheet mask with me. I did some shopping when I went to Florence at Kiko store and here I bought some essential general basic medicine just in case I get sick and then some disposable toothbrush and some spray mist for makeup setting or just for hydrating my skin and then some two pair of jewelry so I can switch back and forth. Okay. Let's just start with the routine. Good habit to drink a cup of water early in the morning after you wake up guys. It helps hydrate your body and your skin. I feel like it also helps with my metabolism for some reason. Don't call me on that. And now let's get started with my basic skin care. I'm just using some of the Ultra Health Moisture Water Toner to and apply on my skin gently and massage my skin with the toner. It help absorb quickly. Apply some moisturizer on my skin to keep my skin moist and stay healthy. Remember always pat in the product so the product can absorb into your skin. I decided to use some eye gel patch on my eye today because my eye has been very tired lately. I'm gonna leave it on for about five minutes. I'm gonna take a nap. Just kidding guys, I need to do some cleanup on my eyebrow. So that's what I'm doing. Next I'm going to apply some sunscreen. I'm using the SPF 50. Sunscreen is the most essential part in my morning routine, especially when I'm on vacation because I'll be out in the sun pretty much all day long. You gotta protect your skin from the UV ray, right? Now let's get start with the makeup. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrow using the Appeal Haru Tattoo Eyebrow Marker in Deep Brow. And I'm using the Holika Holika eyebrow pencil just to intensify my tail's brow a little bit more. Essentially, I'm trying to create that radiant effect. And to blend it all in, I'm using the L'Oreal Stylus Blumber in light to medium. I love the gel mascara. It's give me a hint of color and it blends everything in to make my eyebrow look more natural. To brown my eye, I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. To set my primer, I'm using the Black Paradise Matte Translucent Press Powder. This powder is really really matte guys. Every time I use this powder to set my primer, my eyeshadow go on smoothly and lasts all day long. You guys should totally definitely try this out. 
for my eyeshadow I'm using the B palette today again I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow Morphe brush and apply some of the shade optimistic into my eyelids but mainly focus in building the color in the outer corner of my eyes Next, I'm gonna use another eyeshadow brush from Morphe, the one a little bit more tepper, and apply some of the grateful shade into my eyelid. I'm just gonna pop it into the center of the lid because this shade is so beautiful. It's a really nice champagne shade. You can see how it brings out my eye, make my eye pop and look fresh. I'm taking another little small technique brush uh, and apply some of the shade thoughtful into my outer V corner. This brush is so teeny and it works perfectly for my small eye. I'm just applying the color following my outer V corner without bringing it too far out onto my crease. Just basically keeping it neutral natural taking another Morphe eyeshadow brush this brush is the smallest eyeshadow brush ever I'm gonna take some of that top form shadow shade again but this time I'm bringing it into the inner corner of my eyes like you can see just a little of the color and make my entire eyes pop between the contrast of the thoughtful shade and the grateful shade it's like it makes my eye totally look more depth and more three-dimensional what do you guys think? I love it then I'm taking the Physician Formula 2-in-1 Eye booster, booster Liner just to tight line my eye but then I decide to wing it out a little bit nothing too traumatic because I don't know how to be traumatic with the eyeliner now I'm just coloring my lashes for the mascara I'm testing out this Kiko 30 day last extension for the first time ah, sadly I have to inform you guys that this mascara is not good it's give me a very nice volume and length however it smudge and flag on me like crazy after only about three hour wear so that was totally disappointment next i'm going to use the elf smudge shadow brush or smudge brush and apply some of that grateful shade into my inner corner lower lashes just to make my eye look a little bit puppy like for my base makeup I'm going to use the Etude House CC cream today because I don't want to wear full on foundations because it's gonna break down quickly anyway since I'll be sweating a lot I'm also applying a little bit of the Black Paradise face primer this primer has a hint of color in it it's kind of like a bronzer from uh, on my skin so I'm mixing that with the CC cream and blend them all together it gives me a pretty nice base, glowy, natural looking finish then I'm using the black parent mask and lotion powder again just to set my t-zone area I don't want to use it too much because it can get cakey easily using that powder here I'm only using a little of the shade Optimistic again to actually contour my nose. Then using the Balm Contouring Palette and taking a big powder fluffy brush, I'm going to bronze my skin and contour my face. I'm only going for a very natural look so this fluffy brush this is a good job 
just curling my lashes one more time because that mascara did not hold the curl so well. But here is the eye makeup look. To finish the entire look, I'm using the Labrador White Lip Tint in the orange shade. This lip tint lasts forever, so don't use your finger like I did because your finger would definitely stain forever long. Ta da! So the makeup is done. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do something with my hair. It looks totally ridiculous because this is my second day here. <sighs> my root is quite oily, but it's okay. I got a trick to show you guys to help get rid of this shininess in case if you don't have a dry shampoo like I do at the time so using your match and solution powder and apply some into your wood and make sure to blend it in using your finger or your hand or your comb whatsoever as long as you blend it in the powder will go away and your hair look like fresh again So it's time for me to get dressed guys, I will be right back. Here's my complete look in the sunlight, what do you guys think? I hope you guys have fun with me today and the vlog of my Europe trip will be coming very soon. Please stay tuned and until the next time, remember to have fun, be confident and be beautiful. Please like, share comment and subscribe to my channel for future videos. See ya!